welcome to CSA Guru. In this session, we will discuss PSA VTU Model Question Paper 2024 Solution. Question number 6C. Define threaded binary tree. Construct threaded binary tree for the following elements. And it is a 6 mark question. You need to define the threaded binary tree and its rules. How to construct the threaded binary tree? You need to give the rules and then construct the threaded binary tree. Simply, if you are constructing a threaded binary tree, it is not enough since it is a 6 mark question. You need to provide the one-way threading representation and two-way threading representation. First, what is threaded binary tree? Normally, in a linked list representation of any binary tree, there will be more null links compared to actual pointers. Generally, how you will represent the linked list representation for any node in a binary tree? Suppose A is the node in the sense, the linked list representation will consist of three parts. First part, second part and third part. Only second part we will store the node. Actual value we will store with the second part. The first part and third part actually we will specify with null links. These two are null links. Okay. So, if you are considering there will be n plus 1 null links out of 2n total links. So, if you are specifying with null links, what is the use of these null links? No use at all. It will just occupy the memory space. It's a waste of memory. Okay, so replacing these null links by any pointers, that is useful pointers called threads. If these null links, if we can able to replace with pointers in the sense, that is called threads. We can make use of these null links by converting it into pointers. So, this we can able to represent as a threads. Okay, to other nodes in the tree. So, the representation of binary tree with the threads is called threaded binary tree. So, how to construct the threaded binary tree? What are all the rules to construct the threaded binary tree? So, if a pointer to left to child, this is a pointer to left to child. If a pointer to left to child is null in the sense, replace this pointer of left to child with a pointer with in order predecessor. So, here you need to find the in order traversal. In this in order traversal, what is the in order predecessor of node A? Create a pointer to that node. Okay. So, if a pointer of left child is null in the sense, replace this pointer of left child by in order predecessor of this pointer. Okay. Suppose, if a pointer of right child is null in the sense, replace pointer of right child with a pointer to the in order successor of the pointer. That is, what is the in order predecessor in the sense, you can able to replace this pointer of left child. Just you can connect the pointer of left child to in order predecessor and pointer of right child to in order successor. This is the two main rules to construct the threaded binary tree. Normally, it will have only two links, right? So, these two only we will maintain as a null link and linked representation. This whenever we want to create like a thread in the sense, if there is a pointer to the left child in the sense, replace this left child pointer with in order predecessor, connect to in order predecessor, okay? And if a pointer to right child is null in the sense, replace pointer of right child with a pointer to the in order successor, okay? These two you need to remember, left child in order predecessor, right child in order successor, okay? So, this is nothing but threaded binary tree. So, now for this given elements, we need to construct the threaded binary tree. So, how to construct? It's like a normal binary tree only. First element as the root node and the second element is B as the left child and C as the right child. Normal construction of the binary tree element by element you have, you can able to construct. What do you mean by binary tree? Binary tree is nothing but a tree with at most two children. It can have zero child, one child or maximum two child. So, if you want to construct in the sense, level wise you need to construct. First level if you are considering only one node will be there. Second level two, third level four likewise. So, this node will have two child. This node will have two child maximum. Okay. Likewise, in that order you can construct. So, B, C. Next D will be the child of B. D and E. And then F, G and next level. H and I. So, this if you are considering in the sense, it is nothing but a complete binary tree. Level wise, you need to fill the memory space. So, this is level 0, 1, 2, 3. If there is further node in the sense, it will become the child of E. Okay. So, level wise, you can able to fill it. 
from left to right. So now we have constructed the binary tree. Okay. So how to construct the threaded binary tree in this sense? There are two types of threaded binary tree normally. It is one way threaded binary tree and two way threaded binary tree. Okay. In one way threaded binary tree, there are two types. One is left in threaded binary tree and right in threaded binary tree. Okay. So all these representation we will show it. Okay. So this is nothing but normal binary tree and it is an example for complete binary tree. Okay. So now we will construct the threaded binary tree that is one way threaded and two way threaded binary tree. So here if you are considering in the sense one way threaded binary tree there are two types right in and left in. Okay. So now the binary tree is this is the binary tree right A B C D E F G H and I right. So these are all the given elements. So for these elements we have constructed the binary tree. Now what do you mean by right in threaded binary tree in the sense meaning is a pointer to the right link is null. If there is a pointer to the right link in the sense that should be replaced by in order successor. So normally in a binary tree if you are considering in the sense there will be three fields right. So three fields will be there. So here it is A. So this is the left link and this is the right link. So left link is connected to B, right link is connected to C. Okay. So now there is no null link for A. Similarly B if you are considering left link is D, right link is E. C, left link is F, right link is G. Okay. And D if you are considering left link is H, right link is I. Okay. And H if you are considering in the sense, it has both the links, left link as well as right link, it is null. We have to make use of this null links as a useful pointer. Okay. And if it is a right in threaded in the sense, consider only the right pointer. That is the right link. Okay. So if the pointer to the right link is null in the sense, it should be replaced by in order successor. It should be replaced by in order successor. Okay. So here for node H, consider the right link is null. It should be replaced by in order successor. So what is the in order traversal for these three nodes? It is H, D, I. So in order successor of H is D. So create a link to D. That is the link. Okay. So in order successor for I is, this is B. In order successor for I is B. So if you are finding the in order traversal in this, you can be able to find easily the in order successor and in order producer. Okay. And for node E, both the links are null only. And here we are considering, since we are constructing right in threaded, consider only the right pointer. So, for node E, in order successor is root node E. And for node F, in order successor is C. Node G, in order successor is C. For G, if you are considering, there is no in order successor. And if there is a last node in the sense, it should be connected to the root node. Okay. So, this is right in threaded binary tree. Next, left in threaded binary tree. So, this is the binary tree. For this binary tree, we have to construct the left in threaded binary tree. So, left in threaded in the sense, consider the left pointer is null. Okay. So, whichever node left pointer is null, we have to replace it with in order producer. Okay. In order producer. So, if it is a right in threaded, it should be replaced by in order successor. If it is a left in threaded in the sense, it should be replaced by in order producer. Okay. So, here if you are considering in the sense, for the first node, there will be no producer. Okay. So here in left in threaded for the first node, there will be no producer. And in right in threaded for last node, there will be no in order successor. In that case, both should be connected to root node. Okay. Since it does not have in order producer, it should be connected to root node. And in next I if you are considering in order producer is D. E if you are considering in order producer is B. And F if you are considering in order producer is A. And G if you are considering in order producer is C. Okay. So this is left in threaded binary tree. This is right in threaded and this is left in threaded. So both if you want you can able to create a linked list representation also. So how we will create? See here linked list representation for node A. Okay, and this is the left pointer link, it's B, and this is the right pointer link. So, if you are considering node A, both the link is occupied 
there is a pointer to the left child, there is a pointer to the right child. There is no nulling for A. Similarly, B if you are considering, it is B, left link is D, right link is E. And C, left link is F and right link is G. Okay. And for D if you are considering, left link is H and right link is I. So, this is the linked list representation of a binary tree actually. So, how to implement this left in threaded in the sense? So, this is null and this is in order successor. We have to replace the right pointer with in order successor. So, replace with in order successor. This one, this is null. Left in is null. Okay. Here we are considering only right in. Okay. So, it should be replaced by in order successor. Here it is null. And here it should be replaced by in order successor. The left link everywhere it is null. It should be replaced by in order successor. Since it is a last node, there is no in order successor. It should be connected to the root node. Okay. So, this is the linked list representation of a right in threaded binary tree. Similarly, for left in threaded binary tree, first create a linked list representation. So, this is the linked list representation of a binary tree. And here, for all the null links, we are considering only left in threaded. Okay. So, left in in the sense, right in all it should be null. Okay. Right in all it should be null. And for node H, so for first node, there is no in order producer. So, it should be connected to root node. And for node I, in order producer is D. For node E, in order producer is B. For node F, in order producer is A. For node G, in order producer is C. That's it. So, this is nothing but right in threaded and left in threaded binary tree. Both normal threaded binary tree representation and linked list representation of a threaded binary tree. Similarly, for two-way threaded binary tree, if you are considering in the sense, here you need to consider both the links. So, first construct the binary tree for the given elements. So, this is the binary tree for the given elements. Okay. How to create a two-way threaded binary tree in the sense? Here, you need to consider for the leaf nodes, both the null links we are going to utilize. That is the left pointer link as well as the right pointer link we are going to utilize here. So, left pointer link for node H, if there is a left pointer link in the sense, it should be connected to in order producer. If there is a right pointer link is null in the sense, it should be connected to in order successor. So, for first node, since there is no in order producer, it should be connected to the root node. Similarly, for the last node, there is no in order successor, it should be connected to the root node. Okay. Now, the next if you are considering for node H, if there is a pointer to the right link in the sense, it should be connected to in order successor. It should be connected to in order successor. Similarly, I if you are considering left link in the sense, it is in order producer. So, in order producer for I is D. In order successor for I is D. Okay. So, left link is in order producer D. Right link is in order successor B. Similarly, for E, left link is in order producer B. Right link is in order successor A. Similarly, for F, left link is in order producer A. Right link is in order successor C. Similarly, for G, left link is in order producer C. Right link is, there is no in order successor, so it should be connected to the root node. Okay. So, both the threads here we are connecting. But in left in threader, only left pointer we are considering. In right in threader, only the right pointer we are considering. Okay. So, this is the two-way threaded binary tree. So, for this two-way threaded binary tree, we will implement the linked list representation also. This is the linked list representation of a threaded binary tree. So, now how we will implement a two-way threaded in the sense, see here, the left link is null. So, it should be connected to the in-order producer. Since there is no in-order producer, it should be connected to the root node. Okay. And right link in the sense, in-order successor D. And for I, left link is in-order producer and right link is in-order successor D. And for node E, left link is in order producer E and right link is in order successor A. And for F, left link is in order producer A and right link is in order successor C. 
and for node G, left link is in order predecessor C, right link there is no in order successor. Since there is no in order successor, it should be connected to the root node. That's it. So, this is nothing but two way threaded binary tree. Now, I think you will be clear. So, one way threaded in the sense only one side thread you are going to represent. There are two types one is right in threader, left in threader. Here, both the binary tree and linked representation we have shown the threads. Okay, for right in threader. Similarly, for left in threader, both the binary tree as well as the linked list representation of the binary tree we have shown the threads. Similarly, for two way threaded binary tree, both the binary tree as well as the, its linked list representation we have shown the threads. Now, it should be clear. Okay, so this is nothing but the representation of a threaded binary tree. So, simply if it is a 4 mark question in the sense just to construct and show any one threaded binary tree. It is easy to show two way threaded binary tree, it is enough. Okay, suppose if they have asked in 6 mark or 8 mark question in the sense, it is better to show both one way threaded as well as two way threaded binary tree, then only you will get mark. So, this is all about threaded binary tree. Thank you for watching this video.